In today's video, I am going to be explaining my experience with two YouTubers that I watch all the time, hair care tips. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. Self Care Karen is all about empowering busy women to feel their best and give their best. And on my channel, on a Monday, I upload a more kind of more self care specific video. And I, at the moment, I'm focusing on a therapy called EFT. You might notice tapping. If you want to know more about that, I've got loads of videos already, including explanatory videos. So I'll put the playlist here to my EFT videos. And before that, I, I literally recorded hundreds of guided meditations. So if you haven't tried out one of my meditation, my style is very different in a meditation than it is in a beauty product review video, I promise you. Um, here's a playlist to some of my guided meditations. And as I said, self-care Karen is all about empowering busy women with their self-care. And I do have this channel for that, but I also have a shop on Etsy where I sell self-care related um, items like personalised skincare recommendations, I sell meditation scripts, I sell EFT scripts and I just I sell self-care planners and kind of life planners if you like so take a look if you haven't done so already and if you want to know more about me and my brand I've got lots of information in the video description but also you can link to my website my website you can sign up to my mailing list my mailing list gives you freebies like this weekly habit tracker that you can download and you also get a discount if you shop in my Etsy store. So yes, take a look at all of that. But let's get into today's video and I'm so looking forward to today's video. So I am a YouTuber and I have been um, a YouTuber. I'm proud to be a YouTuber. I have been since November 2020. Um, so I just celebrated three years of, of having my channel. And um, so I love doing that, but I also am a very avid viewer of YouTube. So I watch YouTube all the time and I watch it, yes, for beauty stuff, but I also watch it for things to help with my business. Just generally, when I've got a question, like how to do something, I use YouTube as a, a resource. Anyway, on my channel, as I've said, I upload self-care kind of Gen, more general therapies with self-care but on Fridays I upload these beauty product videos and to begin with I didn't really do much on hair care because hair care is not something that I feel very expert in. I have hair goals but I never seem to achieve them. Yeah I don't feel like that's my area of expertise but I did then do a video review of um, a hair dye, home hair dye kit. And then that kind of became a regular thing because I, I dye my hair all the time, like really regularly. I can, you can probably see my roots, I need to touch them up again. And actually these videos do really well on my channel. So clearly my viewers want to see hair care videos from me. So I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I need to learn a bit more about this hair care malarkey. And I started watching um, more channels on YouTube about hair care, specifically um, the Blowout Professor and Abby Young. Um, and I'll talk about those in in, in a little a while. But um, let me just tell you about my hair. So I really, I felt like as a child, um, I had much, much nicer hair than I do now. And it's probably because my hair has been completely overprocessed from all the dyeing. I have been dyeing my hair um, since sometime in my 30s. And I think it is early 30s where my first greys started to appear. I have many, many more now. This, I'm coming into my, uh, into the year that I'm going to, well, when this goes live in 2024, I will be um, turning 50 later on in the year. So yes, I've been dyeing my hair for like 20 years, maybe just shy of 20 years. So, and and before that, even before I had greys, I dyed my hair every now and again. Not, not a lot, but I, I did do some dabbling with the dye. 
So my hair is very over dyed or over processed with chemicals um, and I do not use heat on my hair very often. So I was actually contemplating for this video straightening my hair with some straighteners and then I thought, well, actually, I think it's probably better that you see my hair as it really is without and how it normally is because I very rarely use a blow dryer or straightening tongs or anything like that. Um, partly because I'm lazy, but partly because I don't want to kind of ex exacerbate um, the problem of this over-processed hair that I've got. So when I was younger, my hair was much um, kind of smoother, silkier, shinier, although I do think I've got quite nice shine on my hair, but um, it might be the grease. Um, and I don't think I had such oily roots when I was younger as I do now. Um, but my memory is not reliable and I've actually found out that no one's memory is reliable recently because I was listening to an episode of the Mindset Mentors um, podcast. I love his his uh, channel and basically our memories are just not reliable for a number of reasons. But anyway, but I do recall, even if I look at photos, I think my hair was in a better place than it is when I was, you know, in a teenager than I am, than it is now. So where am I going with this? So I'm going with the fact that I'm perimenopausal. I've been dyeing my hair for 20 years and I really, really would like to feel better about my hair. I wish my hair wasn't as frizzy. Um, you can see it kind of, it's always had a kink in it. Um, I don't mind that. I can make it a bit curlier if I try, but it always feels at the moment like it's kind of a bit too frizzy on the ends. I would also really, really like to have longer hair, but I actually think that my hair has kind of got a point that it doesn't go past in terms of growing longer. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, maybe you can tell me in the comments if it is or not, if I'm crazy, but basically I want to have smoother hair, less oily hair, because I get really, really oily roots, and I would like to have longer hair. Anyway, I have been watching The Blowout Professor, has this YouTube channel. He is so, so funny. He has like an alter ego, and my lovely video editor will put two images up here of him in his normal self and him in his alter ego with blonde hair and he is just so so funny and he has this kind of questionnaire that you can complete and it recommends then hair care to you so part of the products and things that I'm going to talk about in this video have come from his recommendations and then I also watch Abby Young um, and her hair is well which is funny actually because obviously the blower professor is bald right but he's always talking about he he sounds like he's he knows what he's talking about abby young has got this beautiful long blonde hair absolutely gorgeous and she talks a lot about drugstore hair care and i i you know budget beauty is my thing so next year oh sorry this year i will be in 2024 be doing some more videos based on some more of her recommendations but for today i am reviewing higher end hair care now i want to just explain this was an absolute massive step for me to spend this much money on my hair. I am your budget beauty person. I generally don't spend a lot of money when it comes to beauty products. I'm more about quantity rather than high price. I really look for those kind of value products in terms of getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, and so I was, it was a real, I had to talk to myself for days to actually make purchase and then when I did I was like looking everywhere for the best offers I could find but anyway I want to explain to you the experience that I've had so when I took um, Chris who's the blowout um, professor's quiz it recommended Redkin volume injection shampoo and conditioner there are other recommendations and I'll come to those in a minute but then I realized that there was also a recommendation for then this was for people who style their hair with heat and of course I let mine air dry almost every day that I wash it and so he recommends a, diff a different range but I couldn't find them for sale so I contacted them I'm on his mailing list and I, I replied to an email and I asked what is an alternative and they said uh, the person the lovely person who came back to me said uh, living proof 
Now, I will do a review on Living Proof, but that will be sometime in the future. I haven't got those products available yet. I'll, I'll do that, as I say, in, in some months time. So what happened was I did actually buy the Redkin volume injection. You'll see that I'm nearly coming to the end. That's why I wanted to make sure I film this before, yeah, before uh, they run out and my memory fades and I can't smell them anymore and all of that stuff. So I bought the shampoo and I bought the conditioner and then Chris recommends that um, after you've washed your hair and your hair is still damp, that you spray in the Pureology Colour Fanatic 21 Essential Benefits Leave-In Conditioner. So I bought that as well. His next step um, includes a hair oil. I think it's an op ol Olaplex, Olaplex hair oil. I did not buy that because um, I felt that was a step too far because also hair oil for me just makes me feel like my greasiness is going to get worse and I was kind of like really not wanting to believe in stuff but anyway I, I also had some of this left over this is super drug me plus universal hair oil so I thought you know what I'm gonna just you know keep with this there's still quite a lot left the other product that Chris recommends is this one here it is the Redkin acidic bonding concentrate and this is kind of like um the famous olaplex one that you go to the hair salon salon and have done which by the way i rarely 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 go to the hairdresser partly because of course partly because i choose to prioritize my my time elsewhere um but partly because I, I, I'm not a fan of it. I, like sometimes it's a relaxing experience, but often I'm really on edge. And I found actually that I can trim my hair at home perfectly. Again, following some YouTuber's advice, or it was on TikTok or something, where you, you do like a ponytail at the front, ponytail at the back, and it's fine. I don't think I'm like crazy, like, yeah, it gives me the long layers that I'm after, so it's all good, right? And then once in a while, I will go to the hairdresser. But anyway, back to this. So this is kind of like the Olaplex famous thing. I uh, can't remember if it's number three or number four or number five. Or not. Oh, yeah, I've got so many numbers. But um, apparently this is the one. This is better. So I use that. And then Chris also recommends that you make sure that your hair utensils are clean. I use this brush, um, which I clean on a regular basis. And then he also says that when you've washed your hair, you should use a microfiber towel, which I was already doing. So I just wanted to share like kind of all the steps in terms of products. In terms of technique, again, Chris speaks about the blowout professor speaks very specifically about how to apply your shampoo, as does Abby Young. But I'm really sorry, Abby, I went with Chris on this because I tried all the emulsifying thing before and it didn't get me anywhere. And here's one his ex explanation about how you should bring the product to the root, to the scalp, kind of makes more sense for me because I do have really oily roots. And he says, never apply the shampoo to the lengths, it's always to the scalp. And do it in bits, like get your hair really wet and then do it in bits. Don't whack on all of the shampoo in one go. And that's what I've been doing. And I have to say, in my life, and I've used so many different shampoos, this has given me the most beautiful lava. Absolute lava. Lava? Lava? Anyway, absolutely gorgeous. And it is kind of like light and frothy. And then with the, the froth, I then kind of run it through the rest of my hair and then I wash it out. In terms of the smell, my apologies, the school's just broken out. You're going to hear some screaming in the background. But anyway, it's, it is a synthetic smell. I'm, I don't find it unpleasant. But um, yeah, I've, I've smelt nicer shampoos. Bring back the dowser soon, please, from the 80s. Anyway, so yes, I really, really liked the, the shampoo. The conditioner, I have only been applying to the ends, like from midsection down of my hair. And in the time it's taken me to do the rest of my kind of body care in the shower is the time I leave it. I've been following Chris's advice here and then I wash it out. And then when I've come out of the shower and that my lovely microfiber towel has been on my hair for a little while and then I've combed my hair or brushed my hair out, I then apply this Colour Fanatic from Purology leave-in conditioner. However, I do not 
do the number of sprays that Chris says because I tried that once or twice and it leaves my hair feeling really crispy like too much product on it so I only do like three or four sprays for the whole of my hair maybe it's because my hair is quite fine or maybe it's just I don't like the feel of product in my hair I'm not sure but anyway I did not stick with his instructions that much he then talks about using hair oil I've maybe use this once or twice in the whole time because this just causes me to have a major greasation. Um, when I told you about my hair goals, it was about the greasy hair. I wash my hair normally every day. I have been trying to go one day wash, one day not wash, one day wash, one day not wash, and so on. However, I on the day that I don't wash, I really notice and feel my hair is greasy. I have to say that with all of these products, and I'm missing the Redken... Oh, where did it go? I've lasted. it, it's under the towel. Even with this, which I thought might help out with that situation, uh, and let me speak to you about this in a second, my uh, greasy situation has continued. However, I am, I guess, getting more used to having that day where I don't wash my hair, and I quite like it because it speeds up my morning routine. So I have a wash, but I don't have to have a shower washing my hair and it kind of makes it a bit faster on those days. Um, but I do notice it and I, I, I don't find it pleasant. And I think if it was summertime, I definitely wouldn't be able to do that. With the um, acidic bonding concentrate, um, I only use this once a week and that is following Chris's of rice. But, um, and I haven't, my apologies, Chris, if I missed out you a video of you explaining this but as per redkin it says that you should put this onto your hair damp hair first you leave it on for five to ten minutes then rinse off then shampoo your hair and then condition i was doing that and then i saw a video by abby young and she said actually shampoo your hair first then put this on and then follow with conditioner and i'm much much prefer that I think that is better and I think overall I think my hair is a little bit I'm sorry I've got before and after photos I've got no scientific proof just the way that I'm feeling but I do feel like the quality of my hair like the frizziness situation the actual this bit of hair that I'm most concerned about that gets so much hair dye on it I do feel that it has improved over the about six to eight weeks that I've been using this kind of routine. Um, so yeah, thank you, Abby, for for doing a video on that. That was very helpful. And she actually talked about dupes for this. So I'm going to look into that because, um, yeah, I think that that is um, an interesting one to, to really explore. Um, yeah, she also talks about oiling your hair. Um, and I do do this sometimes where on a night I'll put on this hair oil onto my hair and then I'll wash it off the next day. Um, I don't notice like an amazing difference, but I do get to use up some of this and I, I want to use up the products. So um, overall, I am pleased with how my hair has been. But to be honest with you, the days when I use both the conditioner and the leave-in conditioner, I just think it's a bit too much for my hair. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I'm not a massive fan of the bottle conditioner, but I do really like uh, this one if I use it sparingly from Purology. So I think, you know, I've got loads left. As I said, I've been using it for like, it's not even half way. There's so much of this product left. This is gonna last me ages. So it is actually not that expensive if you consider how long you get it for. The shampoo and conditioner are because they run out faster. But for this one, which was about 20 quid, I think. Um, yeah, I, d I don't mind. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. So yeah, I am gonna keep using the leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna switch um, to a different actually to another extreme complete complete budget but I'll probably carry on using leave-in conditioners to some extent in that hair care routine and I'm definitely going to use this one up I'm going to carry on using this to see if over time it further improves my hair but yeah I mean I 
I am pleased. Um, I would love to hear from you if you've tied out any of these tips that you've seen from Chris or from Abby. Um, or indeed, is there another YouTuber that you would, is your go-to for hair care? Would love to hear your recommendations. Also, any kind of star hair care items that you have in your routine, please let me know. I'm always looking for, you know, those kind of products to try out. And in fact, someone recommended, and I'll be buying that after I use up this one, the leave-in conditioner, the Aveda Cherry Blossom and Almond leave-in conditioner. So I'm going to give that a whirl at some point. But yeah, I've got... <laughs> I've got a lot of a lot of uh, ideas for upcoming um, videos and for things to buy and try out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today. I look forward to seeing you back here very, very soon. If you haven't done so already, please consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, um, hitting the notifications bell, putting a comment, all of that, sharing this video, all of those engagement actions really send a very positive message to YouTube's algorithm. They will serve my video up to more people and I am trying to grow my little, little channel into something a little bit bigger. Remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.